If you've been seeing really cute nail designs that have lines like that, and you're not sure how you're gonna do it, well, guess what? I got the answer for you today. What's up, nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer. Today we are doing one of the easiest nail art designs I like to do, and make some fun nail art without having to do any extra work other than pressing a sticker down. So first we're gonna start with our base colors. This gorgeous blue that I'm using is called the object of all my desires, and the glitter that I'm gonna use is called the greatest, love is the greatest, surely, look, I can't talk Talk today. Love is surely the greatest force of all. They are both from OG Dip Powder. They are from a Bridgerton collection. I am so feeling the blues this fall. Normally I'm not a big blue person. I normally tend to gravitate towards a lot of pinks and neutrals. Especially in the fall, I gra gravitate towards a lot of neutrals, but man, these blues just feel like they are calling my name this year. So whenever you're using dipping a solid color, you want to make sure that you stir the powder before you apply it. Stirring your powder before you apply it is going to give you a really nice even application. Some people like to take a little orange wood stick or some kind of little toothpick and actually stir around the powder in the pot or in the jar that it comes in. I like to just take the jar and kind of twist it around and around and then that does the same thing. When you're using like a glitter or a flake or foil, sometimes you need to do a little bit more stirring. But since I pour over my powders, the application tends to be a lot more even overall since I'm not dipping my nails into it. I know a lot of people um, see <laughs> videos see tons of videos i see them all over tiktok instagram of people dipping their nails into the jar and i just i cannot get behind it i know aesthetically it looks really cool to like dip your nail into the jar but that's not what i'm here for if you're watching this for aesthetics this i'm not your person i'm going to show you the best way to do your nails to get the nicest application the easiest way possible with the least amount of buffing shaping filing and especially if you're a beginner you're going to struggle a lot more dipping your nail into the powder than pouring it over when i pour the powder over and sometimes it just like it does not soak up all of the liquids i'll lay my nail gently onto the top of the dip powder just to get a little bit more of the powder soaked into my base dip. Once I do my two layers of application of the actual color, then I'm going to go through and I am going to use these stickers. I'll make sure that I link them in my description. These have been the by far easiest nail striping tape stickers, whatever you want to call them, to use. I've tried so many. I've tried tons of nail striping tape. That stuff is horrendous to work with okay it is so hard it doesn't stick i don't know how people get it to work so i stopped using it and a friend of mine recommended these little stickers that come in a big pack from amazon and um they are so easy to do these designs if you're somebody who can't use gels or doesn't like to use gels a lot i actually haven't been using gels as much as i used to sticking with dip liquids a lot more having these little stickers for lines instead of having to use gel liners or some kind of gel has made everything so much easier and I have a couple more mayonnaise coming up to show you how to add them to a color blocked mayonnaise so make sure you are watching for that I use my cuticle nippers to cut the stickers because I didn't want to bust out my bigger scissors I thought these were really easy I actually did just buy scissors for cutting out nail decals I didn't have them out I had the, my nail my cuticle nippers out since I had just popped a mani off um, over top of this one so I thought okay this is perfect I'm just gonna do that after you're done pressing the stickers on, you wanna make sure that after you've pressed them down, you think that they're down really well, press them down again. Don't press so hard into your nail that you mess up the dip powder. Like you don't wanna be like pushing down with like your other nails or anything, but it the flatter they lay, the nicer they're gonna stay underneath your encapsulation with clear dip powder because that's what we're gonna do next. We are going to encapsulate these stickers with clear dip powder, which is part of what makes it so easy. So when I'm encapsulating with clear dip powder, sometimes I pour over and sometimes I dip my nail in. I actually want to try a little bit of both. And the reason that sometimes with clear dip powder, I will dip my nail in is because clear dip powder is so much thinner than other dip powders because there's no pigment in it. It doesn't give me any lumps and bumps to lay my nail into it. And I don't like hardcore like dip at a 45 degree angle or anything. I kind of just lay my finger on the top because then once you're done with that, you can activate like normal and finish your mani like normal. You can file and buff and shape and do all all those things over top of the stickers. So if you're a beginner and struggling with your dip nails and struggling like you want to add more ombres and things like that but they're just not working as well for you, these little stickers are going to be a great option to 
to add a little pop of something into your mani without it being too hard. And if you're still struggling with your dip manis and you're struggling with all your application, your prep, whatever you're struggling with, make sure you check out the first link in the pinned comment. I have my Dip Nails 101 linked. It is the ultimate guide to dipping your nails at home from prep to application to removal. And it's everything you need over 45 pages with every tip, trick, everything. It's like if I took every single one of my YouTube videos plus a lot more and added it into one place. Now back to this gorgeous Manny, we are going to do this stunning glitter next. I am a huge glitter fan, so I try to pretty much do glitter in every single Manny that I do, which is funny because when I first started doing my nails, uh, I did not want to wear glitter at all. I thought I thought it looked tacky, and now here I am like glittering the heck out of my nails. So, you know, full circle, like when you start doing your own nails, I feel like you take a lot more risks than you do when you're going to a nail salon because, you know, if you're doing your own nails, you can change it whenever you want. A little dip here is going to cost you, you know, anywhere from I think like, you know, five to ten dollars versus when you're going to a nail salon, you're going to pay, you know, I don't know. People have said they pay like 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars, whatever for, you know, one mani. So th I started getting a lot more adventurous when I did my own nails with different colors and the longer I've dipped, the more I'll basically pretty much try anything. Now, when you see me applying the glitter to my middle nail, it looks a little bit lumpy on my nail and it is not the glitter's fault. It is me. I have builder gel as the base of all my nails under all my manias. I pretty much keep builder gel on all the time and I have for like the past three years. Before that, I kept clear dip powder as a base and I was being really lazy. I didn't feel like doing a fill. So I tried to like file down some of the builder gel and then I got tired of filing. So I just left a little bump in it. And at the end, when you see the pictures and the pictures that like I post online, I just angle my hands better so that you couldn't see the little bump. So, but I like to keep it real with you guys. I'm not gonna lie and pretend like, you know, they always look, my nails always look perfect because they definitely don't. When you're applying glitter, I like to pour it into something. So I use dip cup liners. And if you don't have these dip cup liners, you can use use uh, disposable cupcake liners as well. The little paper ones work. They just get knocked over really easily. And the reason I like to pour the glitter into there is because then I can shake it up to make sure that the glitters that I want on the top of my nail all get shaken up to the top of the dip powder so that I can, when I lay my nail flat, that is exactly where they're going to lay on my nail. And for this application of clear over my glitters, my clear was so filled with glitters because I have a couple different clears. I have clear for glitters, clears for solid, and then clear for shimmers. And my glitter clear was so full of little pieces of glitter that I had to just lay my nail onto it. There's no way I could pour over because it was gonna pour over so many different glitters. So once I finished getting my clear on, I activate my nails and then I buffed and shaped off camera because I wanted to talk about top coating. I know a lot of people struggle with top coating, so you wanna make sure that no matter what brand that you're using you follow their instructions because every brand every dip liquids brands top coating is going to be a little bit different the ones that i'm using here are og dip powder and they work a bit differently as well you want to do one hand at a time top coating you want to activate five nails and do heavy activator so what that means is you apply basically two layers of activator on each nail so you start with your thumb do two layers of activators then go through your pointer through pinky and then when you get to your pinky you count to 10 and then you're going to go in to your thumbnail the first nail that you activated and you're going to apply the first layer of top coat in two to three quick even strokes and i like to make sure that i cover my entire nail set so on the second nail on the second layer of top coat that it's really able to self level and give you that crazy crazy shiny effect and you can see i am not dragging my brush over a ton i am very gently floating the brush over that is a key to getting really shiny top coat from no matter what dip liquids I've used, I found is floating the brush over. And I'm gonna see saying this over and over, like float the brush, float the brush, because I don't want anybody to struggle with applying their top coat and floating really, really helps you to not contaminate your brush as well. These liquids are not finicky basically at all. To me, I found they're extremely hard to contaminate, but some are really easy to contaminate and floating your brush will help you to not contaminate your dip liquids. If you're somebody who likes to wear your mani for more than a few days, make sure you cap your edges on both the first and second layers of top coat that is going to give you the longest top coat wear and if you're still struggling with basic dip application make sure you check out this next video for 10 reasons dip nails left thanks for joining me today nail crew